What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Dazwa Beats channel. I'm Dazwa Beats. Today we'll be doing Air Music Technology just released the brand new Time Warp 2600. We're going to take a look at the Air Music Technology version of the ARP 2600. The name of theirs is Time Warp 2600. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a look at it, man. If you like to make your own sounds and create your own sound, this VST is definitely for you. If you like to just go ahead and use presets, this VST is definitely for you. So it's for everybody. If you like leads, if you like all types of different synth, this VST is for you. So let's jump in. Let's take a look at it. We're going to go over the UI. I had it for a little bit now. I've been using it for a while. Just, you know, messing around, tweaking with stuff, trying to learn it. Me, personally, I'm a preset type of guy. I like to go into the VST and just mess with some presets. That's what I like to do. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the Time Warp 2600. Let's go. All right. Here, go right here. So if you look at it, it looks similar to the other brands that have theirs is a couple other brands that have this same um looking vst the arp 2600 all right so let's go ahead and take a look at it first first off the bat you can scale it from whatever you want from 100 120 it can get bigger if you can't see like the names and stuff you can go ahead and change the change the scale of you whatever you want to go i'll stick to 100 i like that 100 is good for me i can see everything that i need to see all right also you can change the color of the ui if you want to so we go here to the star menu you can hit this drop down you can go to the classic that's what the classic look like you can drop here you can go to the gray that's what it looked like then you can go to the one that I think everybody will recognize, which is this one, right? I know y'all all should recognize this color right here. All right, but me personally, I like the blue. The blue look real nice. I like the orange too, but the blue to me look real nice. So we're gonna go back to the blue, all right? All right, so now we're inside the blue. So this thing right here, this is the first sound that it, it pops up with once you turn it on. All right, so that sound right there is dope, right? So like I said, I'm a preset kind of guy. I like to go in and just mess with some presets and then move some knobs around. That's what I like to do so I can switch the sounds up a little bit. But if you like to create sounds, it has three oscillators right here. One, two, three. They're called VCOs, right? One, two, three. All the oscillators, they get transferred into the VCF right here. So all these right here get transferred over here. And this is where you move the one, two, three right here. You can see the names right here, right? Then all the VCFs get sent into the VCA. VCA and that controls the VCA. Then you have a mixer. Then you have the reverb. All right. So that's the, 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 the gist of it. The, the oscillators go into the VCF, the VCF go into the VCA, and then you had the mixes and you have the ADSR, the attack release, the K, and then you have um, this right here. So in some of the presets, you have like sounds that keep going. Let me see if I can find one. All right, so I'm not doing nothing and you can hear like a little bass underneath. You hear that boom, boom, right? So if you get a, if you get, let me see if I can find another one. I don't know if y'all can hear that. All right, right there. I'm hitting stop and it's not stopping. Hitting stop and it's not stopping. What you can do to fix that, there's three different ways you can fix that. Right here, that doesn't work. Or you can come right here at the mixer. Make sure you turn the mixer down. If the mixer is up, if the mixer is up, that's what happens. Now you can. All right. So make sure that mixer is down. 
and the reason for that is because of the um the filter right here this filter right here if this filter is down and the mixer is up that's three different ways that you can that you can test it make sure the filter is right here if it keep playing or right here is down and this button right here this button right here if that's down right you see that this filter right here right and then there's something down here i think is this one right here all right so just make sure those three if you get a preset that just keep playing all right so let's go ahead and go through some of the presets man it's real nice i'm gonna feel in this and it has a lot of presets man a whole lot of them look at this whole lot of presets and this is my area right here all the other stuff and moving i don't get into all that i like to just go in and mess with a preset they call me the preset warrior that's what I, now i'm playing but that's what i like to do man just get in and go see presets for days all right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna mess around with some presets can change bass leads this is a lead heaven if you have if you're making a beat and you need a lead this vst right here will get you there right so let's try to just come up with a nice little beat and we're going to use the time warp 2600 in it that's what we're going to do let's create a beat with it all right let's go All right, I like that. Let's go ahead and get another sound outside of the Time Warp 2600. We're going to look for another sound that can complement this and make something else, man. Just another sound added to it. We're going to try to use only this, all right? That's what we're going to try to do. Let's go. So we got to go to track two. Let's add another VST. We could have duplicated, but whatever. Let's just do it like that. Alright, I'm liking that too. Alright, so now let's go ahead and try to find a bass. See if we can find a bass from some. Let's go ahead and add the bass to it. Alright, so we played the high, so now let's go ahead and just drop it the octave.
right, let's go ahead and transpose it down just to see what it sound like. All right, let's go. All right, I think I like it transposed down three. We're going to do three. Let's go ahead and use the creative collection effects too. All right, so we got all our sounds from the time warp. What we gonna do now, start adding the drums and stuff to it, all right? So let's go ahead and add some drums and see what we could pull off, man. Let's go. kick right here YouTube, I'm gonna leave it off there for now. If this is your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Normally, I do the tunny up, but let's stop it. Normally, I do the tunny up, but if y'all want this VST, the time warp, go ahead. Is be the link will be in the description and help the channel out, man. 
All right, let's go. Let's get it. As always, thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel. I appreciate it. If you want it, the link is down in the description. All right, let's go. Let's get it, man. As always, welcome to the channel, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Turn it up. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you.